Get ready for an hour of great tunes. We have got a fantastic show this week. We'll be checking out the band Woody Mac Blues all the way from Michigan, USA. They mix up with a bit of brick metal, some modern blues, plenty of great tunes, and you are going to get ready to get twisted. This is Adam, this is Ride Time Radio, and this is Atlantico 94.7 FM. <laughs> was, of course, the Scorpions with Rock You Like a Hurricane. Now, look, it's the weekend, of course, and that's why we're rocking with Ride Time Radio. Now, all of this is sponsored by Rock and Hops down in Almedno. I do need to just point out that they're punching out the pizza down in Sotavento. That's the new bar just round the corner from the shopping centre. So, if you need a fix, book up online, rockandhops.com. That's rockandhops.com. They've got pizzas, craft beers, burgers... Go down and check it out, it's well worth it. Now, here's a bit of vintage trouble with Blues Hand Me Down. Blues hand me down Lord have mercy on my soul 
vintage trouble there with Blues Hand Me Down. Now, look, they're a very modern blues sound. And the reason I've put them on is because we're reviewing a very traditional blues sound today. So there's a bit of a mix here. I want to show you the difference. Modern blues, traditional blues. Now, Woody Matt Blues from Michigan, USA, sent me their music over. They've got a great mix of guitar work. They've got original tracks written by the band. And there's some nice reviews on the website from other places as well. So... Let's take a listen, let's check them out, and let's see what we think. Mac Blues, okay? Now, listen. First thing I want to say is to reassure bands and musicians that if you're going to send your music into the show and I play it on the show, I think it's good enough to be on the show, okay? I'm not going to, like, put people's music on the show and then kind of slate it online and tell you it's no good. That's not what I do, okay? I will, if, it's, if I don't think it's good enough for the show... I will actually write a private review for you, listen to your music, and give you some help and advice from an experienced uh, work musician, OK? So, let's talk about Woody Matt Blues, right? So, I've listened to the tracks, OK? There's some really, really nice lead guitar and rhythm guitar work going on in there. Some impressive stuff that's happening, right? The first thing I did notice, though, was when I was trying to actually put the track in, 
amongst other professionally mixed tracks, your volume on your master volume is a little bit too low, OK? So if I was you, I'd just pay some attention to that final master and just push that sound up a bit, OK? That's that's what I would do, OK? And it's my opinion, all right? But I'm talking about I'm making radio station tracks and stuff all the time, and it was it was quite noticeable straight away. Now, the problem when you start pushing the volume up on tracks to match other tracks is then the you can start hearing more that you don't want to hear, all right? Now, three-piece bands are always very difficult because you've got to try and find that gap. There's always a gap, especially when you break off into solos. Now, you could do that by being a little bit more adventurous with the bass line, or you could maybe introduce a Hammond. I think your band would sound fantastic with a Hammond in the background as well. I really do. I know that you're filling, yeah, and probably multi-mixing the guitar there a little bit, but it would sound better if you had that gap filled a little bit more. Or like I say, be a little bit more adventurous with that bass line. There's a lot of root notes, stud, stud notes just going there where we could probably fill them in with some more bass chords and stuff like that. That's my criticism, OK? Take it or leave it. Overall, I thought the band was actually very, very good. You had a nice mix. Um, it was really airy. You could actually hear each, each individual instrument. Drummer was very good. Guitar work, well, I thought it was phenomenal. I thought your rhythm guitar work was very, very good. And then you break into the lead as well. All round good. Vocalist, I like a gruffy vocalist. I like that gruffy sound in blues. I think it works really well. So overall, I think you've got a great sound. I think it's very traditional. Um, like I say, for me, would love to hear a Hammond in there. If you do do that, please send me some more. Some more from the Woody Matt Blues Band coming up later in the show. listening to Ride Time Radio. My name's Adam from Easy Rider Tenerife. Now, we are one of Tenerife's only classic retro naked motorcycle rental companies. If you're over on holiday or if you live over here and you fancy a blast, get your licence out, blow the dust off it, get yourself down to Las Chafiras in the south or up to Puerto de la Cruz where our new office is based and we will fix you up with the ride of a lifetime, OK? We've got Motor Guzzi Ducati, we've got Triumph, we've got Harley Davidson, we've got the bikes that everybody would like to try at least once in their life. You can check us out on Easy Rider, Tenerife.com. I'm Adam, I'm Head Honcho, this is my radio show, this is Atlantico FM on 94.7 FM. <laughs>
So, a whole lot of love. Now, that's off the Mothership album, all right? Now, I do mention this album a lot because it's one of the remastered albums. So, all of that kind of old crackly vinyl kind of sounds that we used to get and have to put up with a lot of the time. I mean, my Led Zeppelin albums, I was stoned most of the time when I listened to them, so they was always badly scratched. But look, they've been remastered, right? So you don't have to put up with all that no more. You can get this remastered album and they sound great. Of course, that was a whole lot of love, right? Now then, all we've got this week is rock and blues. And I am listening to a legend from the rock and blues scene, okay? This is Rory Gallagher. Now turn it off, get ready. This is called Bad Penny. <laughs> Hey! 
I mean, you know, that guy was a legend. It was such a loss to lose Rory Gallagher. It really was, because he had such a wide repertoire of rock and blues music. He was an impressive musician, an impressive singer, impressive guitarist. It's such a shame we lost him to alcohol. Now, talking about alcohol, right? <laughs> the show is actually sponsored by Rock and Hops down in Almedno. They're a craft beer specialist. They're also a specialist in what I would call tower burgers or mountain burgers. And they're also doing pizza and home delivery. So if you want anything from Rock and Hops, Get on the internet, check them out, or go down and see their bars down in Almedno. You will not be disappointed. That's the spin doctors, right? If the river was whiskey, all right? If the river was whiskey, I'd probably be swimming in it or trying to drown myself in it. But it isn't, right? So I can't, all right? But anyway, let's move on, right? So that's another kind of modern blues twist of a band, all right? And I like to get this sort of over this week, you know, modern and traditional. Modern blues is what you're listening to now. Coming up next is the next track from... Woody Mac Blues, the next one that I've chosen called Lifeline. This is off their latest album, which is uh, Beware of the Monsters. It's on their website. They have a very good online presence. They've got all of the music that you need online. You can buy it online. They've got their bios online. They've got the information online. It's a very informative website. Can I say a big thank you to you guys for sending me the music in. I've I've really enjoyed listening to the tracks. I've enjoyed looking at your stuff online. And if you do get that Hammond going on in there, send me some more over. I'd love it.
Take a look what's been going on down at Easy Rider then this week. So, this is Easy Rider, this is our radio show, and this is also where we give a big shout-out to all of our riders who we look after when they come over. Now, let me take a look down the list. Right, Nick, Moto UK. Now, he's a friend of mine. He came over did some filming with me last year. I appreciate what Nick does for me, um, along with the likes of Freddie Dobbs and, and Darren John, people who come over and they film me and put me on their YouTube channels. Now, Nick came over, he took the um, Chevrolet Camaro out, which is the new addition that we have to the company. It's a 6.2 litre. 6.2 litre, OK? So only men can drive this car, right? Now, he took it out for two days. It was his wife's birthday, and they had an amazing adventure taking that Cabaret American muscle car through the, uh, the, the lanes and through the mountain. So, big shout-out for Nick, please. Also, we had Darren and Sean. They came over, brought the kids with them, put the kids on the bikes, took me for a half-day guided tour. I took them up to the uh, Tady. We went round Tady, then I left them to their own devices. And by the photos that they've sent me over, they had an amazing time. They was on the Bonneville. They took the Motor Guzzi 850. Both of those bikes are fantastic for going twos up. Big shout out to you guys, please. Where's the horns? And again, please. Okay, look, the list going on and on this week. We've got Ollie. He's took the Bonneville out. He's off on a two day adventure. I believe he's back to, well, I think he's tomorrow with me. Um, big shout out to Ollie, please. Brandon took the Ducati out. Big horn for Brandon, please. Look, they just keep coming. Who we got next? We've got Stuart. He's on the Harley Davidson 1200. He did love that bike, I must say because he was a, he then extended the rental because we do do a late check-in, OK? So you can do a late check-in with us. It's very cheap, very cost-effective, and you get the bike for another half day. Big shout-out for Stuart. Where's your horns, please? <laughs>
this is the sound of government mule now it's, if you've not heard this band before get on the internet and go and check them out they have a fantastic sound if you're into grateful dead if you're into any of that type of uh, sort of jamming sound government mule check them out you will not be disappointed right now big thank you to everyone this week for all the hard work that they put into all the companies that i own I really appreciate everybody who works for me, OK? So big shout-out to you guys. Uh, big thanks to Rock and Hops for sponsoring the show. A big thanks to Atlantico FM for airing the show across the Canaries now, going out to m- nearly all of the islands on different waves. If you're down in the south, that you can find that live on 94.7 FM. Now, everyone at Easy Rider, thank you very much for all the time that you've put into the business. This is your host, Adam. Remember the next bite meet, please, is on the 5th of November, okay? The 5th of November. Go on to Instagram or Facebook. You'll find the details for the bite meet there. Now, I'm going to get down and twist it. I'll see you next on the road. Yeah!